Hi, it's Mitch from PickDogs.com here with the free pick in the Mavericks versus Grizzlies NBA matchup on Friday, December 1st, 2023. Of course, I do tons of free picks every day. And when you give out as many free picks as we do here at Pick Dogs, you're going to like some more than others. People ask us all the time what those are. Those are the ones we put in the premium picks area. You can use the discount code PICK for 15% off. We also have the Dime Club and Sharp Trading Plays. Not meant for everyone, but meant for people who make big bets. Not available on the website. You got to text the number that you see on the screen. So if you make big bets, text that number. But let's get to this one. Mavericks taking on the Grizzlies. And the Mavs, certainly a nice turnaround story from last year. Of course, two years ago, they were in the Western Conference Finals. So this has been an up and down team. The big story surrounding the Mavericks right now, of course, is the sale of the team. Um, by Mark Cuban and uh, what they're talking about is building you know a Las Vegas style resort in Dallas but of course sports betting betting in general illegal in Texas so uh, maybe they know something that we don't know and they're going to be first to the uh, to the party so those of you that live in Texas hey maybe you're in luck in the near future on the other side of this one uh, the Memphis Grizzlies absolutely terrible this year as they continue to wait for John Morant to finish his suspension. So they're 4-13 and on the season. That's 17 games in. The suspension is 25 games, so it won't be that much longer before Ja is back in the lineup for the Grizz. And of course, he is the guy for that team. And what we've seen is other guys have to step up. Guys like Bain, who's not really a a frontline player in the grand scheme of things. He's a good player, but I'll tell you what, with Ja Morant, he's going to be a lot better player and, you know, less of, uh, less attention to him and less of the load that he's going to have to carry. And I think the Grizzlies might be a team that once they get job back, eh, maybe we'll find some value on them then. Meanwhile, for the Mavericks, this is a team 5-5 five and five in their last 10 games. Like we said, we saw them struggle really down the stretch last season. This season, they came out of the gate extremely hot. But, um, you know, they have cooled off somewhat since then. Winning last time out against the Houston Rockets in a game they were laying 4.5 to 5 points. They won by 6. Kind of one of those weird things right at the end with the free throws and all that stuff. Oh, man, we see this just far too often. And then they'd lost previously to the Clippers, got actually blown out of the building in L.A., and that was the night after that they had beaten the Lakers, or two two nights after they had beaten the Lakers. So we're still seeing some inconsistency from this Mavericks team, but at the same time, it's definitely a forward momentum, you know, something that, like, at the end of last year, after, you know, it was basically a collapse in the last couple months of the season. The Mavs' defense really hasn't been bad, and I think that's been part of the way, part of the reason. They're not good, but they're not the worst anymore, and I think that that is, is part, of, part, of the, part of the answer here. Also, they've been hitting the threes at a very nice clip, sixth best in the NBA. I think this is going to be a pretty decent game, but at the end of the day, I could see the Mavericks pulling away. I'm going to take the Mavericks, and that's going to be my free pick. Of course, while you're doing your picks, putting your bets in, be sure to use our free betting tools at sportschatplace.com. They're 100% free. They tell you how often, historically, all the bets on the board have come in. They pair them with today's odds, putting you on the most favorable bets on the board today.